Okay, come here. Come here. Come on. Here, let's look at it. Let's show everyone. Right here. It's changed. Wait, show them. Show them. Doesn't look good. It looks weird now. Okay, so we're going to hope for a good result, though, okay? All right, I love you. Hi. Do you want a cookie? Ah, uh -uh, sit. Okay, I'm, I'm like getting emotional. They took her back to do blood work. They want to remove it, obviously, um, because they're saying it is a little strange that it's sort of spreading and not just contained like it used to be. Um, so they would like shave a patch of her fur and then like cut it out, stitch it up. They said she'd be under maybe 20 minutes and then if they were to also clean her teeth, it would be like another 15 minutes. Um, so it's like a light anesthesia. Okay, we are back. It is surgery day. You're going to be a champ, right? Are you going to be a champ? You can just get that removed because it's starting to spread. You can see there how it's spreading. It didn't used to be like that. Get it removed. Get your teeth cleaned. Oh, so dirty. Okay, give me a kiss. I would say at least an hour. Just so we can Okay. So then, yeah, I'll just stay till she's awake. Hi. and the the roots are really exposed so basically it needs oh, to be oh so it's hurting her yeah yeah okay hi sweetheart and then this has some some fractures on it but it's a nice yeah. solid tooth I'm you not told me that she was that. chip she used to go crazy on antlers and yeah. last year when you told me she was chipping i restricted yeah. that but i was going to ask you if she should switch to soft food um i don't think she needs soft food hard food is fine okay yeah so she's got some but fractures, yeah if it's the so one in the fine. very very back the yeah go the for very, it very back, so. oh gosh okay Paige. Hey. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, so I just went in the back and saw her on the table, which I wasn't expecting to do. Um, that was scary. So I think what they said is they gave her a shot, which made her a little sleepy. Then they put the tube down her throat that gives her some gas, and that puts her out. And then once they're finished, but she's breathing the whole time. And then when they're getting close to being done, they will take the tube out. And then they actually have like a reversal that they give her. Um, I forgot the name of the drug, but anyway, that it's just I've I've been really not okay. I've been really nervous. So now she has to get a tooth pulled. There's a tooth in back. I mean, she's this isn't like bad dog care. She's 11, um, and she just goes crazy on those antlers. And last year, the vet told me that some of her teeth were chipped, and so I, I've restricted. She hasn't had any antlers since last year, um, but I think some of the damage was already done because she would just gnaw on those um, really, really hard. So one of the teeth in the back that you saw is pretty much like gone she's not gonna miss it i think i might switch her to soft food anyway the doctor said i don't have to but i might but anyway now she has to get the lump removed by her eye which is scary too i might have to get like a cone so she doesn't rub it on the carpet um but yeah i'm that was did not expect to go back there and actually see her knocked out on the table that was Don't laugh at me, Mom. That was some. That was something. My mom is here for moral support because I'm such a panic. <sighs> I was really hoping she'd go her whole life without having to go under sedation again. I just don't like it. Here. Oh, there. That's a scar. That's a lot. <gasps> oh my gosh. Hey. Hey. 
Waking up. I got you, girl. Hey, come here. She's like, let's get out of here. You're drunk, sweetheart. Oh. She's ready to go home. She's so sad. So I brought Paige to my mom's house because it's closer to where she had the surgery. I just didn't want to drive her all the way up in the mountains. Um, so I left her here for a few hours with my mom watching her while I took Molly back to my office and did some work. I'm back now to meal prep, uh, make her some chicken and carrots and rice that she's gonna be eating all week, but tonight I think I'm just gonna give her a little bit of rice with like some chicken broth and her pain pill. Um, but she's doing a lot better now. She's not like drunk. She just needed to sleep. She basically slept for like, how long's it been? Like five hours? But she's still like slow going. Um, so I'm gonna go feed her. Okay, come here, sweets. Are you hungry? Here you go, it's soft. It's not hard. It's soft. You're missing two teeth though. Oh my goodness. We got some rice. Oh, there's a tail wag. You're not hungry at all? You only want the chicken? You want me just to pick out the chicken? <laughs> She's no dummy. There's just chicken. You're not a fan of the rice? Oh my gosh. Paige, you being a diva? You being a diva? All right, I'm gonna go keep feeding her. Okay, I'm cutting up the cooked chicken now and adding it to my carrot pieces that are already cooked and then I have rice that I'm gonna put in that container. So hopefully for the whole week I can just give her this as her, uh, her teeth are healing. Okay, chicken and carrots are done, rice is done. She's on Rimadil for her pain medicine. I'm gonna give her one of those and I'm gonna go I might actually leave her here and take the other animals up to the cabin. Excuse the air conditioning noise. My mom also is like, don't show them my dead grass because I guess her sprinkler system's getting fixed. Anyway, Paige was just barking and kind of trotting around. You gotta take it easy, sugar. You gotta take it easy. Why don't you go to the bathroom? Go on, go outside. So all signs seem good. Oh, the air conditioner stopped. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all of your support and your love and your well wishes. I know I was posting on Instagram and Twitter about Paige. It was super scary for me, especially to see her like that. So I don't know if I ever said this, but Paige is actually 11 years old. I rescued her in March of 2007 and she had all of her adult teeth, but she was still very much a puppy So I think she was probably around eight or nine months old, which would put her birthday. Hey, stop. Come here Come here. You're gonna get pine needles in your freaking Stitches. Oh my gosh. Will you just go to the bathroom? What are you doing? Come no don't shake like that. I'm gonna put the cone of shame on you um Anyway, I think her birthday is probably around July 2006. Don't know her birthday, but I celebrate her rescue day, which is in March. Um, but yeah, she's 11, so she's, you know, she's old girl. So this was super good that she pulled out of it fine. Those teeth aren't gonna be bothering her anymore. The thing on her eye hopefully is gonna heal. It's not gonna get any worse. The vet said that it didn't look cancerous at all. It looked just like, like a weird, thing. She had a wart once, but this was definitely almost like a pus filled kind of a like, I don't know what it was. But anyway, all right, let's go inside then. Okay, <laughs> let's go inside. You want to go inside? Come here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And I will see you later. Bye.